holistic uh, reality or non-local reality uh, is in some sense a principle which goes beyond causality. In that sense, it is often called an a-causal picture. And, uh, you know, when we have um, a spatially non-local scenario, we, ha we have, in a local description, we would have a here and b there. If they are non-locally correlated, as, as this is the technical notion, then we are, it's no longer really legitimate, ontologically speaking, to say that a is b here and, and b is there. Uh, we have to say that we have a, we have a holistically entangled system which does not consist of parts. I mean, parts come into existence when we do certain interactions with this system as a whole, but primordially the system does not offer itself as a collection of parts. That is another big, le big lection which quantum mechanics tells us. And it, it's, as I said before, this is the same for not only for spatial arrangements, but also for temporal arrangements. Now, um, this notion of a-causality um, is, is, an, is an issue which has been discussed from a completely different point of view. Um, I think it was the first time 55 years ago in 1952 um, in this famous paper by Carl Jung. Uh, and Jung, uh, called, uh, Jung talked about these a-causal connections, but not now not between physical systems A and B or something like that, but he wanted to talk about a-causal connections between uh, material states, states of matter, and psychological states, mental states. So in some sense he was talking about a-causal relations between matter and mind, matter and spirit if you want. And uh, the a-causality um, which, he, which he put into that picture, simply um, it was again an attempt to address the, the idea that we don't have, or we, we, it, it is for the, for the relations between these two states, matter and mind, it is inconceivable um, that there are any causal interactions. That, that was his attempt. Of course, this is an addition by myself now. If in this sense there are no causal interactions, then also there are no retrocausal interactions, because this would just be, be inverting the causality. Uh, all that is there are the correlations, and they are considered a-causal. Now, if we want to expand this quantum mechanical a-causality due to holism, non-locality, and so on, we want to expand that into this relation between material and mental states. Again, this is a speculation, I have to say. Uh, then we come to a very interesting picture, because that means that we have um, relations which may be even observable. I mean, Jung claimed they were observable, of course, uh, that may be observable between material states somewhere out there and our mental states. And the, the anecdotal evidences that Jung offered for uh, these kinds of synchronistic events, as he called them, uh, are very numerous, but they are still, uh, up to today, they are only anecdotal.